You don't have to prove anything to anybody. Go be the best you could be and let the chips fall where they fall. Rodeo is what I do, not who I am. Now, I've been roping since I was four years old. Honestly, since I can remember, I had a rope in my hand. I knew I was gonna be in a whole different industry and it was gonna cost a lot, so I had to kind of miss some basketball games and start early, a little different than other kids, but it's been just a way of life my whole life. What stands out to me in my career the most, as I look back, it wasn't about me. You know, even through the journey when I thought it was about me, I was wanting to give up and, and wanting to quit. I think God sent me down a different path so I would be a different person. So people could look at me and say, if that guy made it, you know, I can make it. I think early on, if it had been easier, like I wanted, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and act perfect. It was times that I wanted to give up because it, things wasn't working out. But I think if things had been easier and worked out, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't value the things I do. I wouldn't value the people that has just extended an arm to help me. It's not about how big or how little, you know, things they've done. I appreciate everything along the way. Looking back over it all, I'm so grateful that I went down the path that I've been down to get where I am because I feel like I've touched a lot of people in and out of the industry. People that know my story, people that know me. I've been known as a guy that to never give up. Back in my career, I struggled because I felt like I had to prove to the world how good I was to try to get help, to try to get sponsorship. And that hurt my roping in my career a lot because on the biggest stages, I had more pressure on me that I didn't need. Being who you are, just doing what you do, God will align those right people no matter what. I knew in the back of my mind, knew my goals of building the place that I was building and gonna need, you know, these pieces of equipment that I didn't need on the ranch I grew up on. I never put myself off to be this perfect guy, but I always try to put myself out to be this real guy. Try to stay positive. You know, it's gonna be them days that you still get a little down. When we joined, I was like, actually started getting to know the people in Kubota and the different reps and stuff. They reminded me a lot of my family, you know, hard work and whatever you need is right there. For a brand like that to be behind me, it makes me more thankful I didn't give up in those trying days when I was struggling, when I wanted to give up. The people that I've aligned to work with, they're definitely top notch. When I started every morning to go feed my horses, I'm just amazed and blessed for the opportunity to be part of it. It all tracks back to I hope a little kid out there watching to see if that guy done it, I can do it.